welcome. I'm Bonnie Saratori with Spiritual Acceleration, and this is Laurie Stedman. She does astrology, she's a psychic, and she's a medium. I'm really, really happy to have her here. Thank you. So she's going to share. Yeah, she'll share a little bit about. We're going to get going, and she'll start talking about the full moon, this big full moon that's coming, the super full moon. This is a big one. Great opportunity. So. So, are you ready for me? I'm ready okay. for you. <laughs> Okay, so very exciting at 9.35 p.m. Eastern Time on Wednesday evening, we have the super full moon. And what is a super full moon? So it is when the moon is closer to the earth than usual. So it looks enormous. It looks gorgeous. And it's the third in a cycle of four. And it's going to be the closest to earth of any full moon this year. So what does that mean? Why is that important? Um, especially because... We've got six planets in retrograde right now. Um, and I just want to back up to preface to mm -hmm. say that astrology is an amazing focusing tool for your energy. And there are periods of opportunity and challenges. And if we can see what's coming and work with it, then it's just 10 times easier. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, we like that. Um, so... It's uh, this particular super full moon is you're going to, it's at seven degrees of Pisces. And so if you have a chart, you can get a free one off of astro.com and just with your birth time, day, place, and you can see where that falls in your chart. And if it's energizing, if it's directly on a planet or an angle, then you're going to feel this even more. Um, but this particular one is an incredible opportunity and it, it could, could come disguised in a feeling of overwhelm. It could come disguised in tremendous confusion um, mm. and believing it's a wonderful time to dispel fantasies, ideas that weren't true anyway. Wow. Yeah. And I know you work a lot with that. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. It's, it's phenomenal at, it's a phenomenal opportunity. There could be tremendous overwhelm. And, but the, uh, there's tremendous power to see through the illusions mm -hmm. and to set your intention. For example, um, you know, right now, especially, we've got just a lot of energy of uh, fear. Uh, and if we can get into that frequency, of love, that heart open love, then it, it just, and out of victimhood and into just being, creating, creating your life intentionally. Um, it's that kind of incredible full moon. Uh, it's, so you may have a lot of emotions rise up and the, it's the best thing you can possibly do with it, at least, it, is, is to acknowledge it, to feel it, mm -hmm. and then to work with it. What do you do when something like that happens, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. when there's a real intense emotion that comes up? Right, yeah. So, I mean, as you're talking, what's happening is I, I'm I, I'm seeing these energies, and I was like seeing it earlier, but it's explained to me by you're describing the energy, and it's like, oh, yeah, 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 there it is. So just so you know, for on, on an energy level, as I'm looking at, the, at it, it's almost like, like massive raindrops happening on an energy level that are just you know vibrational frequencies and the intensity of it mm -hmm. that's you know that's what you're talking about is the intensity and like you said you can feel overwhelmed mm -hmm. you can feel like too much and what's really awesome though is that this intensity it's activating these really deeper places inside mm -hmm. of the subconscious you know, past life wounding, carryover wounding, active things of this lifetime. Uh, this is the opportunity now to really let it move, let it get activated, let this energy move. And that's what Lori's talking about. You know, she's just like, yes, it's like the energy itself of that moon is literally blasting yes. everybody's subconscious. It's you know? illuminating. It mm -hmm. literally illuminates not just it, it even works in the tectonic plates mm -hmm. of the earth. Ah. It moves the tides as we know. It yeah. also moves on our psyches. Wow. And so it's a golden opportunity that could come disguised in some very crunchy feelings, some uncomfortable feelings. But mm -hmm. as as 
you know, as we know, when you have, we have these incredibly strong feelings, they're in our bodies. And, and sometimes they're not desirable in our bodies. And so we have to be willing to sit with them, to feel them, to acknowledge them and work with them instead of repressing them. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So Laurie, you know, when we, when, when we think about what do we do, like these people that are out in the world and they're maybe going to get this information, mm-hmm. um, you know, like people, they're going to, they want to get away from, but you know, maybe we can give them some suggestions on how to just how to work with this. Okay. Like how to work with this full moon and utilize the energies to truly activate and, and clear more energies out than you would otherwise. Okay. Yes. Love it. Yeah. So as feelings will be intense, they will be intense mm-hmm. uh, in all likelihood. And it's a perfect time to review especially the things you were doing in the beginning of this year when all the planets were direct which they were in the beginning of this year for the first few months what were you embarking on what were you thinking about working with and now is for the next like 90 days it's a perfect time to review those things think it through and kind of go yeah uh, we tried it you know (laughs) (laughs) or that was good i enjoyed it let's do some more with it it's time to uh review and uh, the biggest thing you can do with this energy is to set an intention. And I've got tons of notes here. But um, <laughs> the way you line up your energy, um, we, do, we line up our energy, our intention with what's already coming. It's just so much easier. It's like a, being in a sailboat. You, you just, you've got the wind filling your sails in the direction you want to go. So I would suggest... Um, getting your chart from astro.com or if you don't already have one it's free and see where this full moon is seven degrees of pisces it's like seven degrees in 25 minutes but seven, five. Um, seven degrees of pisces is and see where it's acting in your chart and um i do have uh i do have a very simple course that tells you how to do this for yourself but look at what area you can even look it up online 12 houses see what house that's operational for in you. Um, and it's going to tell you a lot about what area of your life you can set an intention in. But the biggest thing is the more, especially when you get these intense feelings and people around you will be having intense feelings. You're going to see a lot of people <laughs> having overwhelmed, kind of freaking out. And, um, and plus the planet Uranus stationed direct today and today's Monday and we're going to be feeling it all week, we're probably feeling it last week. And that's a lot of intense, uh, sudden awakening, <gasps> <laughs> you know, in the tarot, it can be a tower moment. Wow. And it's just like, <laughs> what do we do with that? Um, so lots is coming up to the top. But the thing about it is it's not to victimize us. It's, it's to bring out truth, hidden mm-hmm. truth that needed to be revealed mm-hmm. so we can live in more consciousness. So set the intention. I would suggest I'm setting the intention for a a more consistent daily practice in terms of uh, well-being, spirituality. Um, And it it looks like something different for different people. And the other thing, the biggest thing is that open heartedness Mm -hmm. and Mm -hmm. just like looking fear in the eye and going, I see you. Okay. I see you. (laughs) You know, and then, but choosing choosing love and choosing to create instead of just staying small and compressed and hiding, (laughs) you know? (laughs) Yeah. Yes. And so as you were talking, this is really cool because when people talk, you know, I see things. Yes, 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 yes. So what also you can do is just understanding and knowing that your subconscious is going to get activated. Okay, so rather than going into the resistance and, you know, not wanting to, what if you played with the possibility of opening your heart with a big yes Mm. to the energy and, you know what I mean? Because here's Mm. the thing, you can block energy with your resistance and your no, seriously. Okay, so even though we got all this amazing, powerful energy helping you can still go into your resistance and play small, all of that, and you will literally block 
the act, you know, the, the energy that's activating these frequencies. So I'm just going to encourage you to say yes. Just say yeah, because it's not about hurting you. It's not about making you, you know, more wounded. It's about liberating you from this old, old, ancient misperceptions, belief, programming, conclusion in your subconscious that are creating your life to be not what you really want. Okay, it creates trauma, dramas, and poor me's and victimizations. You can utilize this time, this full moon, to help just, you know, pull it in. So what I would do if I were, well, what I will do is I'm going to have full on yes, bring it mm. on, bring it on. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to open up everything in me that I can, uh. because I can. I'm going to open up my chakras even wider. And that first, second chakra for sure, I'm going to open up the subconscious. And I'm just going to let that frequency, all that energy, mm. that it's like a golden frequency that's coming. I'm just going to let it just come in and activate and, and it, you know get these places that I, that I've been buried and then also my heart's desire is let's you know let's live let's have life let's have fun you know let's engage let's be a part of life you know and let's just love people and and welcome people and and have that just big heart opening mm. and open that heart even more for unconditional love so you know you can bring it on you know just that intention just you know, for me, I'll probably actually lay down and have everything just open. And then I'll intentionally open everything mm. in me and just say, come, 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 activate, activate, clear, purify, stimulate, you know, wake me up. That's what I'm not going to be doing. So, you know, take the opportunity because this is huge, it's, right? Yes, it's humongous. Can I just? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. No, go. So in the context, because we, we play yeah, off yeah, each yeah. other. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so in the context of exactly what Bonnie was saying, we are in astrological cycles that are thousands of years long and they're coming to a closure. In um, January 12th of 2020, um, we had a, a very significant transit an event, astrological event, mm. and it triggered everything that we're seeing. It is the absolute um, crumbling apart of toxic power structures. Mm -hmm. Well, thank goodness for that. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. for the corrupt power structures who haven't been using it well. And we're going to see a shift into energy that's a lot more about the people, more grassroots, more egalitarian mm. instead of, you know, I, I just mean... Uh, any kind of hierarchical organization where mm -hmm. we're peons, you, mm -hmm. know? <laughs> mm -hmm. you know, and um, and about this super. So it's a changing of an age. We're, we're no less than a changing of an age. Humongous shifts, and the most toxic thing we can do would be to hold on to the old paradigms <sighs> because they're 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 kaput. Yeah. And so the more open we are to the new, that's the safest place to be. It's right. absolutely the safest place to be. And one of the benefits of the super full moon on Wednesday night at 935 Eastern time uh, is there's an enormous amount of Piscean energy. It's not just the moon. There's lots of Piscean energy. And one of the things that it has, and it can be, <laughs> you know, it can have victim uh, type energy in a lower expression. All the energies have this higher octave and then they kind of have <laughs> you know, the, the lower octave of expression. Um, but there's an enormous amount of healing energy and energy to help kind of mm. not flood, but like uh, I'm, I'm just seeing it. Sorry, I'm going into my right brain all the way here. Um, but it's just like, um, uh, you know, when something, when someone is wounded and it's, it's cleansing, it's mm -hmm. profoundly cleansing. Mm -hmm. And I am seeing it with the water, again, with the water in Piscean. It's a water sign. It's the most sensitive water sign. And I just see this healing, cleansing available. And especially as we open and allow, because we always have free will. Uh, but as we open and allow, it's a wonderful opportunity. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So, lots, I mean, this is like, like she said, I mean, this is like how many, how long ago did we really have this kind of potency? I mean, really. And you know, looking at our lifetimes and for what's happening globally, I mean, it's interesting because everything's like, for me, it's like divine, the divine plan unfolding. So, of course, everything aligns, the planets, the world, everything, the paradigm. Mm -hmm. So everything's working together for the great opportunity for people, for humanity, 
to mm-hmm. also wake up and be liberated mm-hmm. and, you know, come in, in the suffering stuff. Mm-hmm. So, you know, this, this particular super full moon, you know, like I can, the energy of it is so powerful, seriously powerful. And like Lori was saying, you know, it affects the, you know, the oceans, the, the templates and the uh, you know, tectonic the, plates, the, plates in the earth. The plates. Like it's, it, we're probably going to see, um, there's a, yeah. while you're saying that, um, there's a probability with Uranus stationing retrograde. Um, Uranus has an 84 year orbit. We haven't seen where it is now since I think 1942. Right. Um, and okay. it's, uh, but some of these other cycles are thousands of years old and mm-hmm. they're coming to me. It's like, all right, mm-hmm. all at the same time. Um, but uh there could be more seismic activity, more volcanic mm, activity, mm-hmm. um, more disruptive activity in terms of finance, stock markets. Mm. Um, but if it happens, don't let it shake you <laughs> if you possibly can. Mm-hmm. Um, and just, it's good to just open to how you're feeling led intuitively. Because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. yeah. the same old patterns aren't going to work like they used to. So the more you can open it and invite your intuition to embrace what's alive for you, what feels like, what feels alive, Mm -hmm. what's, Mm -hmm. you know, what what has life force in it for you? Go that way. Yeah. Yeah. And so the the intensity, the power of this, I mean, think about it. If it's moving those plates and it's, it always moves the motions or the tides and everything, but think about what it's really doing to the body. Okay, so remember, you've got all these levels of who you are. You know, you've got the physical body, of course, mental, emotional, uh, the physical, which you have your etheric body, mental, uh, your uh, Merkaba body, etheric body, light body, um, you know, just these um, energies that who we are. And in every, every aspect of us, we also have our higher levels, our oversoul levels, God self levels, uh, super consciousness levels, all of us as being activated so if you understand that you, you know you're more than just this physical body right here you know your oversoul levels are working together with other people's oversoul levels co-creating together bringing things to you bringing opportunities so the clearer you are the more golden opportunities will be presenting which is really <laughs> important if you if you don't have those <laughs> if, you, if you don't have clear you know some lightness inside and you're still carrying around the wounding the poor me the victim you know the blame game all of that and you don't you know you block the stuff well you'll just keep carrying that mm-hmm. around while other people will just start shining and getting happier more joyful more abundant and even if things crash like for example like you know if there are instabilities in stock markets or things like that there's going to be other, see, the thing is, is there's other opportunity. Every time. Okay. Every time. Yes. Mm-hmm. And you'll be awake and alert and alive to it because you're paying attention and you're open. You're open to being. Yeah. And see, think about it. Your higher levels, you know, let's just say that, oh, you just lost all this money here. Oh, and you're like, oh, no. But some, you deserve something. Oh, all of a sudden you're guided over here and some miracle thing happens that brings you even greater joy, abundance, happiness, fulfillment, okay? So, you know, it's like we are all intuitive beings. Every every person is intuitive. I don't care who they are, okay? We are born with intuition. We shut it down. So now it's the time to open back up, let your inner knowing happen, let your guidance happen, paying attention and just following that knowing because also, oh, I just saw this, story. the the this act of this energy that's happening is literally helping those who haven't been paying attention to their knowing wake it's, up it's going to start waking that up waking it back up yes 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 okay? yes that makes sense that makes sense mm-hmm. wow it's a golden opportunity yeah the golden opportunity so yeah that whole thing you know when we when we resist then we we, we stop things so it, right now it's the, this whole time period is about yes. And I don't like to say bring it on because I've done that. That could before. be a long time. Like, oh, no, bring it on. Oh my God. You know, and at the same time, you know, we can still say yes, the big yes. Okay. Yes to, yes to the, yes for, let's just clear out. Let's just find that pure, pure, pure light that we really are. Because that's what this is also helping to activate is that pure light energy. I have a story that relates to that. Okay, okay. Cool. So I um the last 
childbirth I had, I really, really, really wanted a natural birth. I really mm. studied, and, you know, and I just, I am, um, I was in early labor and I set the intention, which I would never recommend. <laughs> I set the intention, like, you know, I don't want to be induced. If, if, if I can, you know, can you just really let the next contraction just you know, and then I'll really know I'm in labor. So, you know, it's like, oh my gosh. You know, and I, and it, it, that applies in so many things. I really believe, I've seen it time and time again, when we can set that intention for the great big yes, under grace, with, mm. with sweetness, mm -hmm. with delight. It doesn't have to be. You know. <laughs> doesn't have to be a hammer. <laughs> no, it, that's so last millennium. I mean, it's, it's so true. last millennium. It's true. Yeah. <laughs> we just yes. don't. I mean, you can set your intention for sweetness and for ease and for grace because you can be shocked with delight. You can mm. be. Oh, I like know, that one. You can. Shocked with delight. You can. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that's what I, I would set my intention for. I'm yeah. going to set my intention for because mm -hmm. why not? And, to, and, and also, you know, we all have history. We all have things that we've had experiences, things have happened. So we've got evidence and proof. But we need to just let, that's all, that's in the past. It's all paradigm. It's over. It's behind us. I mean, there's a new energy happening. And this full moon is really shifting something. Like I can see, like the, the globally, I can see the, the world itself, you know, the whole, the, our, our world. With this energy of this super full moon, it's gonna it's it's literally amping things up in a different way and at a different level of frequency that's not going to go backwards, if that makes sense. It does. It you know, so we're not gonna, you know, so, sometimes you have experiences and things open and then they kind of close. Mm -hmm. Okay. So with this one, things are opening, and so the more you open, the more you just let whatever's coming out, you just let it release, let it be gone, let it be done, then your energy will be more of a vibrational frequency that is in alignment with what's happening with the planet itself. And your life is going to move forward in a way that is truly more ease, more abundance, more joy, more happiness, more love, more success, basically, you know, basically more abundant because energy dictates what we're going to experience, so to speak. Okay. So if I'm holding on to, yeah, life sucks. I didn't want to be here. I hate being here. I wish I would, you know, Scotty beam me up. Um, you know, I'm done. Take you know, me out. Take, blah, blah. Yeah, take me yeah. out. Okay. No, 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 no. Which is what I used to do. No, no, no. And there. Okay. And now we're saying yes. And so you're, you know, you're moving into a frequency of, of high level energy rather mm -hmm. than staying stuck in that inertia in that darker energy that can't move forward because it's just a stucky kind of dark energy, old, old, old energies, and it'll hold us back. So even if you are shattered, broken, wounded, <laughs> feeling all the feels, the say yes feels. anyway. Bring it on. Yes, yes, yes. I say yes. Activate my chakras. Activate my subconscious. I say yes. I'm done with the old ways. And then whatever that is that you're aware of that you'd like to be done with, be done. And then also, you guys, here's the thing. Dark first energies. They don't like the light. Okay? So bring the light on. Shine the light. Breathe in that light. Absorb the light. Shine your own light. Activate your light. And what happens is, is those dark energies can't grip onto mm -hmm. and hold on to light. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's a big duh. It repels. It repels. It's like Teflon. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> really, yeah. yeah. It's kind of like Teflon. It's like, you know, it's, it, it, yeah. yeah. There's right. nothing to grab onto. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. So no matter what's happening in your life, you have an opportunity to change it with this full moon. So, I mean, we're talking some potent, powerful, transformational opportunity here. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So, anything else with what uh, the full moon? I see my notes here. Yeah. See if anything's jumping up and down. It wants to be said. Yeah. Okay. So Actually, there is something notes. else. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if you take my notes. Um, there is one other thing, just about light. Um, I don't know if you uh, talk about or pay attention to photonic energy and all the extra photonic energy mm -hmm. that we're getting. It's ridiculous. 
And you can look it up. You know, I mean, there, there are government websites that tell about all the energy from the sun. And we're getting so much more. We're, we're going through uh, the earth is going through a place in space, you know, because we're moving too. Mm -hmm. you know? <laughs> Our whole galaxy, you know, it's all moving uh, through space. And uh, we're there are these frequencies. I don't know how to describe it well, but there are these frequencies. And it's like that's part of the reason why suddenly like this morning, I, like my ear was just all of a sudden. It's just ringing. And I'm like, OK, what's that all about? And um, it wasn't like a message or anything. It was a frequency like there's they're frequent. And it's um, we're being filled with more light. And mm -hmm. the more we can be accepting of it, mm -hmm. the, the, you don't you won't get dizzy and headaches and freaked out. And um, you can surrender to it because it's coming. Right. So you may as well. <laughs> but it's a higher level of consciousness than we've ever had mm -hmm. that we know of historically on Earth. And that's available. It's a very open hearted. It's a frequency of love, like felt love, feeling that love, not, you know, in theory, I love these people and this and that. Mm -hmm. and that's wonderful. But it's like that, that mm -hmm. feeling. Mm -hmm. And our heart emits a frequency that's 20 right. times stronger, right. like 20 times from here than, well, I'm thinking good thoughts about it. He's like, no, mm -hmm. you know, when mm -hmm. we, yeah, mm -hmm. that's the safest, healthiest place you can be, don't you think? Yeah, that's, yes, mm -hmm. awesome, yes. So when, you know, doing the full moon, like when it's happening, if you're going to mm -hmm. take advantage of it, also, you want to start letting go of any, of any negative thinking, you know what I mean? Like judging people, finding fault with people seeing what's wrong with the world or anything or anyone, okay? And because that lowers your vibration, it lowers your frequency. And the truth is, it's it's not the truth anyway, okay? And you don't really know what anybody else is living, why they've made the choices they've made or why they have the beliefs that they have. So our, you know, for us, it's really about having that heart open all the way so that we're not finding fault so that we're not making people wrong, so that we're not taking things personal, but that we are holding a frequency of unconditional love for, for all of humanity. Mm. And I'm not, I'm not talking only the people that we think are good. I'm saying for all of humanity, because, you know, we remember we are, we are echoing out mm. these frequencies. So if I'm holding a vibrational frequency of pure unconditional love and light, no matter where I go, it's going to activate mm -hmm. people. Okay, guaranteed it will activate people. If I'm holding, oh, you're to this or you're to that or why, you know, whatever, all these judgments, fault finding, that's what I'm hitting people with. Okay, so, you know, for us, I, I like the idea that to help people to wake up, help people get liberated, mm -hmm. help people in their suffering, and that's going to come through love. Okay, so this, this full moon is definitely going to be activating the love energy because the, the frequency mm -hmm. of it has a frequency, the same frequency of love mm -hmm. as well as all the other energies, but there is a, an energy of love. So you could actually feel your, you know, feel your own love get activated with this full moon. And if you utilize it and really make it about, yeah, I love me, love me, love, yes. love, love me. Yes. Then the loving of the self is going to even, create even a bigger energy frequency of love that is vibrating out into the world through your subconscious, which is also going to be activating people. I mean, think about it. You know, if, if you really understood energy and you really got that, if you're holding this amazing light, love and light, I promise you, I've seen, I've woken up friggin' demons for real, got mm -hmm. them and woke up that love inside and boom, right into the light. Okay. So think about what you can actually do, help. If you mm. want to really make a difference in the world, mm -hmm. you really, those of you who are really thinking, yeah, I want to make a difference, hold love yes. for everything. Yes. Hold, no matter what's happening. I don't care if it's tornadoes and hurricanes and floods and fires, people dying, people starving, it doesn't matter. Hold love. Okay. The suffering of humanity, even hold love for the, you know, the, the one percenters, the people that mm -hmm. own the world. I'm telling you. Because love is the frequency that's being activated. That's what the new paradigm is all about. That's what we're stepping into. So you can do your part by doing whatever you can to get your heart to open even more. So that's what this, you know, this great super full moon opportunity is, is really about. It's about awakening again. <laughs> Full-on awakening. Yeah. 
super full. On yeah, <laughs> I guess that's a super full. Super full on that cake. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. All right. Anything else, Lori, before we end? No, no. Oh, yeah. well, what you were just following under what you were saying. Um, when we are healed, when we and we have our hearts open and we're feeling into that love, it gives others permission. It 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 gives them something to work with and it kind of it can take them up. Mm -hmm. And you, you know, you're demonstrating what it looks like. Seriously, you know. So if you're with people and, and you're demonstrating that. You show it's like being a way shore. You're showing the way. So it's a this is a great opportunity. Hope you take advantage of it. And the energy will be, even though the full moon is happening at that point in time, the energy of it is going to be with us for for a bit. How long will you think it'll be with us? A couple of weeks. A couple of weeks. A couple okay. of weeks. But we're in the midst of seriously hugely transformative times in that. It, we're, we're in this acceleration. This summer flew by. Mm -hmm. And for the next 90 days, it's time to review, think it through, revisit, and then come out charging at New Year's. Like any projects, any any inspiration that you get, something that feels really alive to you. Mm -hmm. And it's like those, it's, it's time to hit the ground running mm -hmm. in the new year, mm -hmm. not tomorrow. But yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, yep. So, just another way we're being supported by the universe. Yep. Uh, wake up, open the heart, enjoy life, and be here and have fun have a blast all right thank you so much for joining us thank you so much for watching this and hopefully we'll see you on more of these <laughs>